after being enacted. I call the Honourable Member <coughs> Rajan Prasad. But before I do so, can I inform the House that this is a split call. The Member will get a bell with one minute remaining. Namaste. Namaste, Mr Speaker, and thank you very much for that acknowledgement. Uh, Mr Speaker, just before I get into the content of my speech, there's something that the Minister said in introducing this speech that I wanted to comment on. Uh, I, I do agree with him when he says that the child support system is a separate system from childcare uh, and access issues and other parenting issues. He's absolutely right. And those issues, when contest arises, are dealt with in the family court. However, uh, but, however, however uh, Mr. Speaker, there is a linkage. Now, I've seen many cases where conflicts arise between parents who have separated that really linked to their child, care arrange to their, uh, child support arrangements. And the child support arrangements themselves, because they have not been responsive to their contemporary situation, has actually caused a lot of conflict. And that affects their parenting, and that affects excess, and that affects the whole relationship. And that surely must have a negative impact on the development of children themselves and, and the, the life and happiness of a family. So there is a linkage between the child support system and how families live and how families and the, and the stress that families can experience from time to time. The converse there, therefore is true, that a, a, a well-crafted child support system that's operating well does obviate all of those kinds of, of negative uh, influences. And, and what impacts on children growing up, what impacts on families being together uh, and, and sole parents looking after their children or single parents uh, is all of the factors that impact on their, on their needs, so to speak, are integrated. And when they are, then the outcomes for those children are much more positive. In that sense, the child support system is an integral part uh, of, of the life of, 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 of single parents or parents who are separated and where there is, there is a dispute. Uh, I'm, I'm disappointed, of course, that the Greens have indicated that, uh, that, the, that they might not support this bill because it does not go back to first principles. And in a sense, I, I would ask, is this the bill where we ought to go back to first principles about the interest of children? Now, children are always uh, the centre of everything we do in this House, in a sense. But this is only one part of that. And, and that part needs fixing, and therefore perhaps in select committee, as we go through that process, we will have the opportunity to consider what are the parts that, uh, that, that need fixing. Mr. Speaker, it is a sad fact that, that uh, contemporary life for many parents and many families are such that for various reasons they are unable to be together. That's just the way it is. Um, and it is far too regular, but it is regular enough for the state to be intervening through programs and policies of this nature. And it, it, that actually begins to make it at least workable. And there are many cases, but there are many cases in which parents, and this would be the majority of, of cases, where parents work it out for themselves. They, they, and as our research showed in the Families Commission, and when, that when they do, the arrangements work quite well, they, they are much more generous in terms of time, jo joint parenting, joint uh, care of children, etc. And there they are able, they are able to, to fulfill their obligations to their children uh, and to their families and continue to love them and live with them and, and really be good parents, so to speak. But sadly, uh, Mr. Speaker, this is not always possible. And when it's not possible, conflicts arise and this bill begins to address the situations in which those conflicts arise. So the contemporary setup is, is, is quite different, Mr. Speaker. Today we have reconstituted families. We have dual career families, families with different parents, uh, patterns of parenting. And what this bill does is begin to design or redesign the child support system that addresses that. And I know that under the old system, some parents watched bed nights because they would affect uh, the, the way in which money uh, would, would transfer one from the other. So we support this quite strongly. I, I do encourage many, many fathers who have come to us, come to my office, spoken to us to say 
that we are often marginalized, we are not, often don't participate in the lives of our children. Well, here is an opportunity for those fathers to turn up, to turn up to the select committee, to have their say so that whatever needs to be done to, to resolve those problems will, will, will be done, Mr. Speaker. So I look forward to the discussions in the select committee. I look forward to the submissions and perhaps returning, Mr. Speaker, with a better bill. Thank you. Uh, the member's calling. Okay, well, can you speak? I can't Sorry. hear the member.